Today we will learn how to dual boot macOS Sequoia and Windows 10 on a Mac. This allows you to use both operating systems with full resources by easily switching between them. Please note that this method is only compatible with Intel based Macs. If you want to dual boot or install Windows on Apple Silicon Mac, please check out our dedicated videos for M1 to M4 models. Additionally, this method only supports the installation of Windows 10. Windows 11 cannot be installed directly using this method. However, you can easily upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10 after the installation is complete. Before starting the video, you need to take care of few things. First, ensure that your system is up to date. For that, go to your system settings and then select software update. If there are any available updates for your system, please install them first. The second step is to backup your data. Although this process is generally safe, it's always a good idea to backup your important data before proceeding. After that, the next step is to download the Windows 10 ISO file. If you already have the Windows 10 ISO file, feel free to use it. Otherwise, visit the Microsoft website, answer a few simple questions, and download the Windows 10 ISO file. After downloading Windows 10 installer, go to your utilities folder and open bootcamp app click on continue button here you can see that this app automatically detects window 10 iso file however if the file is not detected automatically you can click here and manually select the window 10 file from your computer after that, the next step is to allocate partition space for Windows. Don't worry, Bootcamp will handle the partitioning process. All you need to do is select the amount of storage space you wish to allocate to Windows based on your needs. Please remember that once you are partitioning your hard drive, it can be very difficult to resize the partitions again. So make sure to allocate the space carefully. After that, Click on the install button. Now, Bootcamp will download the Windows driver specifically designed for your Mac. This process will take some time. Once the drivers are downloaded, Bootcamp will save them and proceed to partition your hard drive. After the partitioning is complete, Bootcamp will then save the Windows installation files and drivers. Please note that all of these steps are completely automatic so you do not need to do or touch anything simply sit back relax and let bootcamp handle the rest once the process is complete your mac will restart after restarting you will see the windows logo Now you can install Windows just like you would on a normal computer. All the steps are the same except for selecting your hard drive. Ensure that you carefully select your bootcamp partition and click on format. In most cases, the installer will automatically select and format the bootcamp partition. Anyway, once done, click on the next button and window will begin to install on your Mac. Once the window installation is complete, your Mac will start up in Windows and display a welcome screen to the Bootcamp installer. In case you do not see the Bootcamp installer window, open it manually. Now follow the on-screen instructions to install Bootcamp and Windows drivers. You will be asked to restart when done.
After restarting, you will see that Windows 10 is functioning smoothly on your Mac. To switch back to macOS, click the bootcamp icon in the system tray and select restart in macOS or restart your computer and hold down the option key during startup. When the boot menu appears, select Macintosh HD or the macOS partition and then press enter to boot into macOS. If you encounter any issues, please watch our this video for guidance. Link is in the video description. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.